with you I can be sad with you Just take my hand and fly up through the dreams Where the skies are so clear With you I wanna stay with you I'm taking you from the outside to the inside because even though the jet washing is done these hangers are not going to hang themselves now are they we've got these these are our coats here we've both got our coats hung up so i bought some sturdier hangers for the coats so that the more flimsy sort of velvety hangers can go in the wardrobe <laughs> i bought 18 of them should be enough if we've got more than 18 coats we've got too many coats <laughs> This coat's not even ours. Rose, if you're watching this, your denim jacket is with us. Right, out with the old and in with the new. There we go, look at that. All the hangers are matching, the coats are neat, and the switchover leaves me with a load of these velvety ones which I can use for my actual clothing. It's funny where you end up in life, isn't it? If you told 10-year-old Ash that one day you're going to be concerned about whether or not the hangers that your clothes are hanging on match. You'd have laughed in your face, but here we are. It's not even done in here. I need to, this is Joe's wedding dress, which we actually need to put in one of those like really useful boxes to keep it nice. We're going to do that and then we're going to put it in the loft because obviously she doesn't wear it on the daily. We've also got a couple of frames here, which are pictures. In fact, I'll show you. They're pictures of Joe and I in New York and we thought they'd look quite cool here on the wall next to the mirror. So we need to get some... Uh, command strip things to put them up and then I actually want to paint this wardrobe as well um, I want to make it almost like a grayish green sort of color like a sort of sagey greeny color and I've, I've sort of done some Pinterest research and that's what I want to do so that's next on the list for me or high up on the list anyway things to do and then this walk-in wardrobe room will be done I've just got home from work and I found a couple of cardboard tubes on the doorstep containing photo prints, big ones. Look at that, that's a big one of mine and Joe's wedding. We have got Joe and me going for a walk through some reeds, all of the good stuff. We've printed off three wedding photos in like black and white. And what we want to do is put them in these sort of old school wooden frames. Like it's like uh, historical photos, you know, history always happens in black and white. And then we've got these Ikea frames that we're gonna fill with other photos. So photos we had a five year engagement shoot, those were going these. When you move into a place, it's all about kind of making it your own, isn't it? And I think having your photos up on the wall goes a long way to doing that. So I'm excited to do this. go they're all done ish so we've got the ikea frames for the hallway which are ready they could go up on the wall now and then these these are actually like antique frames they used to belong to joe's grandma and as you can see we've gone for like black and white pictures in there so it sticks with the old theme but they were all taped up on the i don't know if you can see there like there was some tape on here uh, which we had to peel off so they're not secure yet so i need to order some more tape to secure these and then we can put them all up on the wall. Now, ordinarily, I would just walk to Tesco and get the tape, you know, get it done. But we've moved to a house that's in a, it's a little village, there's hardly anything here. There's a corner shop, but I need to order a couple of bits online anyway, so I'm gonna order the tape and we'll readdress this, hopefully, tomorrow. Right, so next morning, and I had to dash this morning back to our old flat where we used to live, because I had a notification that our Amazon parcel was on the way going to the old flat. So I had to go and pick it up, but, Thankfully, it arrived and now we have many command strips and we have got frame tape. I've taped up the back of the frames, as you can see, so they are all secure, ready to go up on the wall. In fact, let me just show you what I'm thinking. I've got those two there. If I just put that there. So that's roughly what I'm thinking. I want those three up there on the wall. Now, I've been quite intentional with the colours for these frames. As you can see, this one's gold and there's a bit of gold in that one as well and in this one. Now the reason we've gone with the gold is it matches the lamp, so it's all kind of tying in together. And then these two obviously have brown around the edges, so like a brown wood effect. Well no, not even effect, it is brown wood. Um, and that goes with the lamp stand there, 
and the side table there. So we're, you know, we're colour coordinating. I think it's going to look epic once it's up. Right, I've got loads of these. These are the command strips. They come in like big packs. So I don't know if you know how these work, but they're like, um, kind of like Velcro. You stick half to the back of the frame and you stick half to the wall. And the idea is you put the two together and the frame should stick to the wall. They're very strong, but also if you're renting, they're really good because you, they don't leave a mark on the wall. Like if you're putting a nail in or your blue tack into the wall, that could leave a mark, but these leave no trace. Right, I'll show you how they go on. I'm not gonna time lapse it, but I'm gonna go one there, one there, one there, and one there. So there you go, one in each corner. There's the before and, and there's the after. There you go, they're attached. And all I do now is peel that off on all four corners. I can slap it on the wall, hold it there for 30 seconds, and it will be up. <laughs> We are getting there, lots of the frames have gone up, but there's still a few more to do. We've got to do a graduation pictures here, and we've got this one here, which is pictures from our engagement, and Joe's gonna put this frame up there. Oh, she's just done the door in the way, that's okay. Uh, just there in the corner. So we're getting there, but work still to be done. I've also spent quite a lot of time today in the shed. It was one of those jobs where I thought I was just gonna do it for like five minutes and do a quick tidy, and then it progressed into a full blown tidy up so it's looking good i'll show probably show you that tomorrow now because uh, it's getting a little bit late in fact no do you know what it's not that late i'm gonna show you what i've done in the shed from the front it doesn't look that big but i promise you when you go in it goes back quite a long way it's quite a big space as you can see this is it actually do you know what i'm just gonna pop the light on Brought a little light in. Never had a shed before, but I've organized it how I think it should be and what works conveniently. So this is what I call the sports corner. So you've got the two tennis rackets, you've got the golf clubs here in a one pound bucket from B&Q. You've got the hiking boots, the wellies, you have got the bike helmets up there. So that's kind of all the outdoor pursuit type things that you might need all in one corner as you're coming through the door. Over this side, you've got the, what I like to call the gardening corner. So you've got the uh, soil, you've got some bark left over, some sweeping brushes, you've got a dustpan and brush, and those are on hooks that were already here. So the owner already had these hooks in before we moved in. I say the owner, I am now the owner, but the previous owner put these two up. Uh, and then up here, We've got some of the sort of standard bits you might need, bit of WD-40, always useful. Ant killer for those moments where you've dropped a bit of ice lolly and there's ants everywhere. Uh, we've got some pegs up here for gardening. These are old uh, soil bags that we can use for garden waste. Then down here you've got the workbench. Those are all the attachments I've got for the hose that we just got. Some gardening gloves, two sets for if... Uh, Joe ever fancies doing a bit of gardening with me. She didn't want to do any gardening, she said, when we got the house, but I, I think she's gonna get into it quicker than she thinks. I certainly have anyway. So we've got two sets of gardening gloves, a few garden tools there. According to Joe's mum, who I know will be watching this, we needed to have these. Very useful for weeding, so we've got those. We've got a set of these. Are they called sacketers? We've got a trowel. Again, not sure that's what that's called, but I think that's what it's called. We've got a table out there. I don't know if you can see that. I need to give that a good clean with these wire brushes at some points. We've got those. This is for Joe to, Joe, oh, there you go. Joe does do, want to do a bit of gardening because she bought this. So she's got something to kneel on for when she does do gardening. So these will be Joe's gardening gloves eventually. Garden chair cushions in there. We've got an old computer chair here that we don't really know what to do with. That's sort of been dumped in here for the minute. This, by the way, is just so neat compared to what it was. When we moved in, we kind of just slung everything in and it was a dumping ground for about three weeks. And it still kind of is to a point. There's some stuff we don't know what to to do with the computer chair being one the old tv stand being another because the tv is now mounted on the wall uh, all the camping stuff is in that corner we've got paints and paint brushes and all of that up there more things that we didn't really know what to do with from the old house you've got lampshades i think that's a map for the front hallway 
air purifier. We've got an old table here. We thought this would be useful for when we host parties. You know, you can put that outside uh, for people to sit around or for drinks and stuff, and that folds out on both sides. Got a light here that we're using in here at the minute. Camping chairs. And then you're back round to the door. So there you go. That is the shed. I love having a shed. It's mad. It's like a an indicator that you finally have a garden because you can't have a shed without a garden. You can't have a garden without a shed. They are one and the same. They are the the perfect marriage. But there's still a few bits to do in the house. In fact, I'm gonna we're going out to dinner tonight. Me and Joe with some friends. So I want to get a couple of bits done before we go to dinner. If I can do that, I'll be a very happy man. And one of those jobs is to put Joe's wedding dress, which I've now got in one of the really useful boxes. All protected and ready and that needs to go from the floor to the loft. It's half boarded the loft so I should just be able to slip it in and the box is actually not very heavy. This should be quite easy. Up you go. Even like having a loft is new to me. We used to have to shove everything in every possible cupboard but having a loft is Dreamy. Right, wedding dress done. The next job to put this guitar on that wall using these brackets and that drill. About there. I'm doing that thing that my dad used to do. I've got a screw in my teeth. So now let's take those out and put the wall plugs in. Okay, those are in. And flush to the wall. Oh no, how long have you been blurry for? It's gonna work. Yes, it is. Come on, look at that. That looks pretty cool. There we go. Look at that. One guitar on the wall and done.